Good morning and welcome to this week. Super Bowl security alert. New plans in place for the year's premier game. Breaking details on law enforcement's biggest worries. Plus Christie's crisis, new Bridgegate allegations. So what did the governor know and when did he know it? Second wind. America does not stand still and neither will I. Did President Obama start his comeback at the State of the Union? What can really get done right now? And pot luck. On January 1, we tripled our sales. Tripled. Tripled. The stunning impact of legal marijuana. Is it safe and is it coming to your state next? Republican leader Paul Ryan, the powerhouse roundtable, and our team of experts take it all on right here this Sunday morning. From ABC News, this week with George Stephanopoulos starts now. Hello again, Pack show this Super Bowl Sunday, so let's get right to our top story, unprecedented security at the big game. That's a live shot you see of Times Square and MetLife Stadium. Law enforcement officials locked in, saying these next few hours pose the greatest danger. ABC's Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas tracking everything being done to block an attack. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, George. This is the Super Bowl of security. Think about it. The nation's biggest event located at the country's number one terror target, the New York City region. No specific threat has been identified, but we're about to enter into a critical phase for police, the hours leading to the big game. This morning, MetLife Stadium is a fortress, but for the next few hours, the attention of police will turn to the softest, most vulnerable target, fans streaming to the Super Bowl by mass transit. Tens of thousands traveling by subways and trains. Specialized units with the NYPD and TSA Viper teams will be checking anyone with bags. At this staging area, bomb-sniffing dogs and sophisticated radiation and x-ray machines scan for explosives and weapons for every delivery to the big game. You're talking food, everything? Everything, sorry. Even seat cushions. On the waters today, state police patrols. There are SWAT teams and units to hunt for weapons of mass destruction, all to protect the thousands of fans in the 10-block NFL fan zone in Times Square and the Super Bowl. There are even supersonic F-16 fighter jets to protect against threats in the sky. I saw first 10 when I suited up to go along on a training mission with the New Jersey Air National Guard. In this exercise, a team of three F-16s is told to intercept this Cessna headed toward the big game the fighter jets will shoot down any threat from the sky. We spoke to New York City's top two law enforcement officials about what they fear most. An event like this, you know, the person that we, we don't know about, who comes out of nowhere, who wants to make a statement. The issue of concern uh, continues to remain, not only in New York, but in the country, the lone wolf. Uh, as we saw in Boston, the two brothers that conspired. The Boston Marathon bombings were a painful reminder that anything can happen, even during fun and games. For this week, I'm Pierre Thomas, ABC News, New York.